In this section we're going to look at how we insert some graphical elements into our documents and we'll start by working with the author's uh, practice document from the chapter 5 folder. Here we want to be able to insert a uh, picture here of uh, this woman Joyce Cox. So we'll click at the beginning of the first paragraph and go to the insert tab. You'll see here there is an insert picture button so we'll click insert picture and we want to navigate to the chapter 5 folder of the practice uh, documents and uh, we want to click on the Joyce file you'll see this picture here click insert when you're ready now this has inserted uh, the picture into the document but it's it's badly formatted now with the document and we also want to be able to do things with this picture such as crop it now, we can see here a format tab has appeared on the ribbon giving us lots more tools. We have a crop tool here and if we click on that then crop lines have appeared on the document on, on the picture here and we can make that a, uh, a smaller image clicking off the document and that document is now cropped. If we change our minds so and we go back to crop the original uh, full size picture will still be there so we can put it back if we want to. We also want to be able to properly format this picture with the text, so we'll click on it again, and now we can uh, change the position of the picture, and you'll see what will happen here, or we can wrap the text around it. Here you'll see there are better options here, so if we choose square, then the text has been wrapped around that picture. If we go down to uh, the bottom of this document and click before uh, the word OTSI, then we go to the insert menu again, select insert picture, click on OTSI logo and press insert. And again we want to wrap the text around this uh, uh, document here and you can see that it's not quite worked here so we want to drag this picture further down to precisely where we want it and we get there in the end it eventually works if we click on the document there are on the the image rather there are other things that appear here in the uh, format um, tab on the new format tab on the ribbon including adding borders adding picture effects to it uh, some of which are really quite uh, impressive adding shadows adding bevels to it soft edges, reflections and there really is a great deal that you can do with images here. Let's add a reflection here we want to add that reflection and we have some very very impressive graphical uh, effects that we can use um, with uh, a document. Now we want to work with a different document now so if we go and open a new document and we want uh, the announcement file let's click on this now here we have a document where we want to insert some some clip art perhaps we haven't got our own uh, pictures so we can go to the insert menu and now we have a clip art button so we can clip on that and we can uh, search for all types of clip art there are different media types here that you can search for illustrations, photographs, videos and audio. Well we don't want videos and audio so we'll untick those and we'll search for room because we're talking here about room planner so I'll press the, the go button now this will search for clip art on your uh, uh, computer that came as part of Word and also um, for uh, uh, clip art that's online. Let's say we want this picture here. So we can uh, click on the arrow next to it and select insert if we want to and just clicking straight on the document will uh, on the image will insert it. So we'll, uh, we can either minimize this task plane or close it, we'll close it for now and we can see here that we've got uh, a large photo, piece of clip art has appeared and uh, we need to make it smaller. So you see the dots in the corners we can grab those and we can drag them and we can make it smaller again we can wrap text around it and there's all sorts of things we can do with inserting clip art there there are also a whole series of shapes here that you can also insert 
into your document that can be useful for all different types of circumstance. Now in the next segment we're going to look at how we can change a document's background including adding a picture to that. Now that we've had a look at how we can insert pictures into documents, let's have a look at how we can change the background to a document. Now for this we want to start with a new blank document. So either uh, do that from opening Word or from the file menu select New and uh, tell it to create a blank document. Now what we want is the page layout tab here and in you'll see a page background section. Now we've got watermark, page color and page borders. Now for now we want to click on page color and if we hover over it you'll see it's popped up a little tooltip saying choose the color for the background of the page. Now in its simplest you can change uh, the background color for the page. This one's one of my favorites and, uh, and this one's very nice as well. But there are other options here as well. Let's say we want to uh, select fill effects at the bottom of this menu. Now we have one or two colors uh, options and we can select uh, different colors that we want to fade to and from and you'll see here there's different variants we have uh, vertical fades, diagonal, fades from corners. Let's say we want this one here so that we have a deep red in the far left fading to white elsewhere in the document. And we can press OK and we can see here, let's go to the view tab and we'll view the entire page. There we can see that we have our nice fade effect. There's more we can do as well. Let's go back to fill effects and we can add a textured background to the document. If we uh, hover over each of these then we'll be able to see here it will show us in this little box in the corner what it will look like and we can select other effects as well. If we press the other texture button then what we want to do is we want to go into our documents and we want the chapter 5 practice files and we'll select marble floor. So press the insert button when marble floor is selected and then press the OK button and we'll see that this pattern has now been uh, selected as the background to the document. There's a bit of a break here and we can do more with it still. Go back to fill effects let's say we want to uh, select a different pattern or we want to select a picture here and we can select picture. If we go to marble floor here then we can press OK and it's expanded properly to fill the page now as opposed to being filled in as a texture. So there are lots of things that we can do here um, in changing the background of, um, of the uh, uh, a Word document itself. And here you'll see there's also a link for page borders. So if we click on this then we'll have seen this briefly before when we were looking at tables. Let's say we want a standard box of we'll say a deep grey there. Press the OK and now the whole document has got a border on each page. So again there's an awful lot we can do here to customise um, those documents, including, as we've seen here, adding watermarks, of which there are a great many. So, in the next segment, we're going to look at how we insert building blocks into the text, which are uh, preformatted segments of text that come with Word 2010. Now that we've looked at how we can insert and modify pictures and change the document's background, let's have a look at inserting building blocks. Now building blocks are pre-formatted and predetermined blocks of text or, or objects that you can insert into documents to make it easy, to, easy and quick to work with them. Now in this exercise we'll be working with the flyer uh, practice file in the chapter 5 folder. And what we want to do is click on the insert tab on the ribbon. 
Now, we have the quick parts link here, which we've seen in a previous uh, section, and we'll click on uh, this and click on Building Blocks Organizer. Now, here we can see all of the building blocks that are available, and you can click on the column headers to sort them. You've got bibliographies, cover pages, equations, footers, and so on down to watermarks. And you can see here, if you click on something, you can see in the uh, preview pane on the right hand side what it will look like and you can insert it pressing the insert button if you want to. But they're all available here on the ribbon as well. We've got different types of equation, we've got different symbols, um, we've got text boxes and so on. So let's have a look. We want to insert a header. So here on the ribbon we've got header so we'll click on that and here we have different types of header that are available to us that we can modify as well should we want to. So let's uh, have a look down. Let's say we want this motion even page header. So we'll click on that. Type the document title by clicking uh, on the text there. And now we have our header. Now you'll see that um, a couple of extra um, uh, ribbon uh, tabs have appeared here giving us more control over the specific objects that we're working with and when we're done with this header we can press the close header and footer button. If we want to edit it again we just double click in the header and we'll be back editing it. So now we've got our header. If we go back to the insert tab on the ribbon we now want to insert a text box. Now let's say for instance that we want this block of text here visit our showroom and purchase a room planner to be highlighted in its own little box on the text. So we'll right click on it and we'll cut it from here. Now we can go uh, to the text box controls and we can select one of the predetermined text boxes um, that uh, come with Word 2010. Or you can draw your own text box should you want to. But we want to pick uh, a text box here. Let's say we want this sticky quote so we'll click on that and you'll see it's now appeared in the document and we can drag it around the document and put it where we want it to go. Let's say we want it there. Clicking on the text, um, it's created a little text box in there and we can paste the text that we have uh, by right clicking selecting paste or by selecting control V on your keyboard or you can also do it from the uh, home tab, don't forget. So we now have that. Now if we click on this box you'll see that uh, a format tab has appeared on the ribbon and this gives us so many more options here of being able to control the look and feel of, of this particular text box. Let's say we want this one. We can uh, add a shadow to it. We can do all sorts of things with it, adding a glow, giving it a, a 3D rotation uh, even, which won't rotate your, uh, your text as well. Um, but there's all sorts of things that you can do uh, with this text box to uh, uh, to make it more interesting and more engaging. So now that we've done that we want to add a cover page onto our document. So click on the insert tab and here we've got, you'll see here we've got headers and footers and page numbers and equations but on the far left we have cover pages. So click on cover page and there are a fair few cover pages that come with Word 2010 as standard that you can choose from. Let's say we want to pick, uh, for instance, this one here. So you click on that. Our cover page has appeared. Our header is in there. We can type a document uh, subtitle. And uh, you can add um, additional text for that cover page. Again, we've got a formatting tab has appeared in, uh, on the ribbon where we can control elements on that, color, on that cover page. And if we go to the View tab and we click on one page or two pages, we can s now see our document has got the text box on uh, the right-hand side. We have um, our, uh, our new cover page and it's much more interesting and engaging to look at now with the simple things that can all be added, as I say, from the Insert tab on the ribbon.
Now in the next section we're going to look at word art and how we can insert that and use that in a document. Right, so we've looked at inserting pictures, changing a document's background, uh, inserting various elements of building blocks, and now we'll look at adding word art text. Now this has been around in Word for a while, but it's been greatly improved in uh, Word 2010. We'll be using the announcement practice file from the Chapter 5 folder. Now, here we want to click on the Insert uh, tab on the ribbon, and we'll see all the options we've got here. We've looked at some of these before. We want Word Art. So we'll click on Word Art. It says here, insert decorative text into your document. So we'll click on that. Now, it gives us plenty of different styles for Word Art, and these can be customized further. So we can pick one that uh, we happen to like. Let's say we want this nice blue here, gradient fill. So we'll click on that. Now, OK, it looks a bit of a mess for now, but don't worry, we will sort this. First thing uh, to do is to type the text. We can see it's been highlighted, so we'll type uh, Room Planner here. And now we've uh, got a new format tab up on the ribbon, and we can wrap the text around, around it as we've done uh, with pictures, and we can uh, add it there. Now, if we highlight this again, we'll see uh, on the format tab there's all sorts of different styles have appeared um, and we can choose between those we can change the fill we can even add a picture or a gradient or a texture um, if we so desire uh, we can change the outline of it change the weight of the outline all sorts of things we can do and there's uh, different uh, effects we can put on it as well you can see here we're adding adding shadows, you can just see it changing in the background. We can add uh, reflections, you can see that changing. We can add a glow, we can soften its edges and add 3D rotations. There's all sorts of things you can do. We have that 3D rotation there, that's quite subtle. Make that a bit stronger there, that'll do. So we've got uh, more 3D rotation here. So there's a great deal you can do. You also have the quick styles, so if you don't like what we've chosen, uh, you can choose quick styles there, and you can pick a different one. Let's say we want that. And there's all sorts of information here, from changing the text direction uh, to uh, a great many uh, different things as well. And Word art is a wonderful way of spicing up a document and adding uh, really engaging headers that um, uh, that will really grab a person's attention. As you can see here, you're not really going to miss that one in too much of a hurry. In the next segment, uh, in the next section, we're going to start uh, looking at uh, printing, previewing, and distributing uh, Word 2010 documents.